Hi, this is Jordi V and today I'm going to show you how to make a trap, basic trap beat. So this is obviously is geared toward beginners, but uh, I guess most of these techniques can be applied by any uh, trap producer or hip hop producer. So in order to start this beat, I've got this sample. So let's listen to it. So first thing, I'm going to add an EQ8 to cut some of the low frequencies. I'm going to also add some reverb. Also, going to add this halftime plugin which is basically the same as the gross beat within FL Studio and let's see if it will work with this um, with this sample not bad I'm just mixing it so I'm having it on 22% dry wet this way we will have this uh, underlying layer of uh, low frequencies it's kind of adding uh, some sub bass frequencies to the melody so yeah i guess we will start with that maybe duplicate it for like another four bar loop so we have this eight bar loop now and let's uh, reverse it for the next uh, four bars Let's see how it sounds. I like this. Maybe have it this way. I'm gonna color it otherwise so we can know. Maybe rename it to reverse melody. So yeah, we have our variation here. So we'll be starting with the reverse version, then go to the original sample then go to the reverse version again so let's go for the drums I like to start with the clap just to get a feel for the beat so let's look for a cool um, clap so let's start with this one Let's create our MIDI clip by hitting uh, Control Shift M and go into the third beat of each bar. Maybe make this bigger and put our MIDI note. I will later click on Control D and have it duplicated here. And maybe take this. Uh, sorry about this. And hit Control D again, and let's loop this uh, four bar loop and listen to what we have. Let me layer, layer it with a snare. Let's see what we have. So we are clipping. I'm going to add the limiter. And on here, I'm going to decrease the volume for this on minus six. Always go with minus six here. Uh, yeah, let's move to the hi hats. I'm gonna add a hat here. I'm gonna drop this sample, but I'm gonna use just to one shot. So let's see, we have this one. I'm gonna drop sampler. MIDI track, go here, grab a sampler or directly put this one shot on the media track so we have a sampler here 
and I'm gonna create again another MIDI clip by hitting Control Shift M. I'm gonna go and change the grid to eighth notes. Go to C3 to play the original pitch and duplicate this. I'm gonna decrease the velocity of the second one just to create some variation. Let's duplicate that again. Um, let me get let, let's listen to this. So I have our basic trap hi hat pattern. Let's start to create some variations. So I'm gonna put the the grid on sixteenth notes, and let's create some kind of uh, counter time uh, melody, I guess. Actually, your tip is to treat your hi-hats just like the melodies or harmonies, so to create different layers. So I have this basic layer. I'm going to create another sub-layer with the lower frequencies in order to give the impression that we are using different hi-hats. So let's start with that for now. triplet grid go for um, a triplet and let's pick up the pen tool and create some fills here so I'm gonna use this perfect I'm gonna also add other ones here maybe this way and get rid of this one basic hi-hat let me go and grab this plugin called pancake and I'm gonna pan the, um, the hi-hat left and right so I'm going with the mix on 20% so this way we'll be having our hi-hat spanned within the stereo field perfect I'm gonna move to a cake pattern let's find a cool cake here this one this is actually temporary just to have the groove maybe we'll change it later so control shift M again I'm gonna start with the basic pattern so a kick on the first of the beat and here and let's put another one here and let's listen to let me hit control G to consolidate that let me go back here and go to minus six or zero perfect i added just to fill at the end just to make it more interesting so now i'm gonna add some percussion let me look for a rim shot Let me look for a rim shot here. This would be great. Control Shift T to create another MIDI track. Drop your sample here. Control Shift M to create a new MIDI clip. And I'm gonna put my grid on 32 note. Go to C3 and put it here. And here and let's listen. Let's get rid of this. Perfect. So we have our classic trap fill here. 
I'm gonna hit Ctrl D to create another copy of this. I'm gonna add some EQ8 just to cut some of the low frequencies, also some of the high frequencies since I like just um, the mid uh, frequencies within this uh, rim shot. Perfect, let's add a little bit of reverb on the return channel. So yeah, we have our basic trap beat. Let's add a shaker here or maybe an open hat. Ah yeah, I missed belt open. So we have our own. Actually, let me get back to this. I think we have an, uh, an open hat here, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, we'll be using this one. Let me hit Control X to cut it. Control T to create an audio track. Go here and paste it. So let's listen to what we have. And solo that. <laughs> Let me add another EQ8 because there is a lot of harsh frequencies in here. So an EQ8, go with this. Little bit of reverb. Little bit of ping pong delay. Yeah, I cut it so much of the sample so we are not listening to it. Let me dial. Hey. This is perfect. Let me add one shot just to get the vibe for the track. So I'm looking for one shot within my samples. I have this one called "Is It's Lit," I guess, <laughs> which is dumb, but uh, yeah. Let me find it. Yeah, young face, young face bando pack. It's, it's lit. Yeah, I'm gonna put this here. It's lit. Let me unwarp it. It's lit. Let me also add some EQ8. Got some of the low frequencies again, some of the high. It's lit. Maybe decrease the volume a bit. We are doing some mixing on the spot, guys. Add some reverb. And yeah. sounds with the reverse version of the um, sample. one so with 808 we have already the original pitch of the sample here on C sharp so I'm gonna grab it go here go from simpler to sampler and go to root key and put it on C sharp 3 if you struggle with the pitch you don't have the info all you have to do is hit Control shift M create a note on C3 here and it will be playing the original sample so this way, let's say we know we don't know that our uh, sample is within C sharp. I'm gonna add a tuner from Ableton Live, and 
whatever this uh, tuner will display here is the original pitch of the sample so let's say it display uh, f3 or d3 all you have to do is go to your root key and change your root node to what the tuner is displaying so here the tuner is displaying c because i'm having it on c sharp 3 let's say i have it on c3 which is which is the original sample as you might see here it's telling me that the sample of the 808 it, it's within c sharp so we are in good hands i guess next i know that my sample here is in d minor so if you are not familiar with mu with the music theory all you have to do is to memorate um, maybe i will do another separate tutorial since we are trying to make um, a fast video here so i'm gonna draw the um, d minor scale here so let me go to here d minor so we have a full step half step we have full step full step half step and we have full step full step so we have our d minor scale then i will go hit ctrl c ctrl v to duplicate that and hit shift uh, the up arrow to make another copy of that um, pattern and plate on a higher octave i'm gonna hit ctrl c ctrl v again down arrow shift down arrow to create another copy so here we have all the possible notes within our um, scale i'm gonna push that that aside and let's start with our 808 so another thing with your 808 you don't want uh, your 808 to be playing multiple notes at the same time so go to voices put it on one and maybe play with the release a bit depends on what feeling you are going for so let's start here let me do the first um, four bars let me also put my um, sample here on uh, uh, my filter global on zero so we can listen to our 808 let me also add the glue compressor so yeah let's start drawing our notes maybe i'm not gonna use this pattern let me do it like sorry about that i'm doing ctrl d for shortcuts to duplicate the note and i'm moving my arrows uh, left and right to change the pattern <laughs> this uh, tiny pattern the priority for now is to come up with the rhythm then we will be changing the pitch so let's listen to this let me to the third note within our scale let's listen to that let me go to the fifth so we are in d minor one two three four five this is our fifth one two three four five perfect so i'm gonna duplicate this pattern we have our 808 next uh, let me get rid of this i'll put it here so next let's add this um saturn plugin from uh, fab filter this is a basically a saturator to make the mid frequencies and the high frequencies pop up <laughs> soft clip here
the utility just to make our base mono Control Shift T to create a new MIDI track. Control Shift M to create another clip. Maybe I will add, let's say, let's say uh, Omnisphere. It's gonna take a bit of time to load, I guess. This is horrible. So yeah, just to recap the video, we started with a sample, later we added our clap, later we added our arrow, our hi-hat, sorry, we create some variation with the hi-hats to make it more interesting, and finally we created our kick, and at the end we went with, um, with our 808. So we have our basic beat, the next step may be to uh, go, add the uh, top melody, start with the arrangement, maybe add your effects, etc. So, yeah. <laughs> 